So here we have the part two of how to insert a spring. What we are going to look at now is to how to insert a load on the end effector, and in particular, a force that points in the direction of gravity. So in order to insert a force, we and just need to go to insert force and this we are able basically to select a surface we can put it in this way now you see I select I put a force I put the load and automatically the system went back to the beginning um, if I wanted to start from that particular configuration I had to cut and erase the whole motion history. Now we have a force and we can do two things. First of all we want to find exactly uh, the position in which we want to um, place the force so we can click on the constraint on the accord so let me do it this again so here I select let me zoom in here I select the cord double click position now in this case again I want to use position with respect to the center of gravity of the end effector and I am going to place it at zero zero and zero apply now if I close I can select the force and here I will have um, appearance active and um, structural load so what we want is a concentrated force we can choose between a torque distributed load concentrate pressure or torque let's stick with the concentrated force we want it with respect to the world and in a Cartesian coordinates and we want it to point into the minus Z direction with minus 10 Newtons apply now this is very inconvenient because the force now is inside the block and I can't really see it but what I can do is to right click on the block property appearance and put it translucent and at that point I can see the force inside it close very good so we I basically hit the background and hit X so that I can see the system from the X I am expecting that with 10 Newtons the system would go down and this force is not gonna be this uh, spring is not gonna be enough to maintain the system in equilibrium let's hit start in fact uh, the system goes straight down now instead of increasing the stiffness of the spring what I can do is to add another spring in particular I can add another spring from the other side so again cord it's very easy to position it as we did before it's going to be five 
0, 100 minus 125, and 90. This actually should be minus 5. Close. And second, second chord minus 5, 0, and 0. Apply. Close. Now I select both the chords, which is report highlighted, and if I click here, automatically I'll have the spring already selected and I'll click create. We have to change the characteristics of the spring. We had set up Two ta two and zero point zero two apply close. Now we can see the system from a different angle. And start and now the system does stabilize stop and initial condition now I can go back here you see that that there has been a change into of, of the scale of the system, the variation is much larger. So we need to um, find out what the right, um, let's see, if we keep fit, it will maintain that. So we need to find the right scale for the system. Let's go both of them. Oops, sorry. Double click. And let's say minus one twenty, right? More. Minus two hundred more minus 300 and minus and 200 apply what I want now is to export this curve into Excel so I have to make sure that I click on the graph Go to File, Export, Meter Data. And here I'm going to be asked from the which frame to start, which frame to stop, and export what? I would say all meters. Include the header, include the X column. And the X column is usually the time. And this is in TXT. I can save it into Excel directly and then click Save. The simulation will be run. Now I'm asked, um, do you want to see the file Excel? 
and I say yes. Uh, I have basically a different format of what the Excel is. Do you want to open the file? Yes. Now you see here, um, let me just resize Excel. What you see here is the only column that has been exported is actually the column for Z because I had uh, unchecked to show the different, the, to calculate actually the X and Y and therefore when I do the export only what I can see is actually exported. Um, but everybody um, should know how to use Excel if we select these And probably you guys know to use Excel much better than what I am. We can go to insert graph, um, make a scatter plot, and here it is. Very good. So this concludes how to create the graph insert a force and export the graph to Excel.